I literally I'm just gonna be saying lawsuit. If you hear me saying lawsuit in this video, it just means that I do not want to end up being sued for character defamation because of what I'm going to say because I'm gonna be very honest in this video. Oh, I'm trying so hard to not say the name of the company because I literally just want to throw them under the bus. But anyways, that's beside the point. Why I never want to work in some in any any spa ever again. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you have accepted that you're weird, feel free to stay here by staying. Make sure that you hit subscribe and turn on the post notifications so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. So you can guess already by the title, I'm going to be sharing my experience on working in a spa or my experience to becoming a beauty therapist, to becoming a massage therapist, to why I will never work for somebody else's part ever again. So it's kind of like a story time, if you will, if you may. I'm just going to give a disclaimer now. If you love going to spas, don't watch this video. That's all I'm going to say. And I also want to put a further, further disclaimer before the spa community comes for me, before the beauty therapist community comes for me. Everything I'm saying in this video is based on my experience. My experience. It doesn't mean that what I'm saying applies to every single spa that you see or every single spa that you go to. It's not all the same. Obviously, I'm going to refrain from mentioning the particular spa that I worked for and the products that were used in that spa because you can kind of put two and two together if i mention the products or the brand of products that were used in that spa or if i even try and hint the chain name of it or if i even try and hint at the location you will know which spa i'm talking about if you also know which spa i am talking about because you knew when i worked there please try and not put the name of the spa in the comments at all because it's someone's business and I'm not out here trying to get a lawsuit, so please. Um, anyway, like I said, everything I'm going to say is based on me being a customer and also working in a spa. We're going to start with qualifications, how I became a beauty therapist. So, I, in 2017, I think I even have the dates up here. 2018, sorry. In 2018, on the 19th of March. No, it's not the 19th of March, that's a lie started in January that's a lie you know February February March April it took me three months to become a qualified beauty therapist I was doing I did my course with the training room and I basically went to the location in London they had a few locations in London I'm not gonna say specifically which one uh, lawsuit it was for three months and I attended my teaching hours should I say it was two days per week so that was usually from nine until six um sometimes it ran until seven but that was literally every monday and tuesday uh you got a chance to choose like obviously which days you wanted based on the academy that you chose to go to the location so some would do wednesday thursday some would do thursday friday some would monday tuesday some would win or tuesday wednesday it just depends it varied like that and my exam on the third of April and then I also had my driving license exam on the 5th so I had two exams that week that I qualified to become a beauty therapist and also got my license so yay me anyway so that's just like the point of this video <laughs> the course itself structure wise could be better teaching wise I learned a lot I'm not gonna lie I learned so much like most people have obviously the usual thing of thinking that oh it's a beauty therapist you just massaging someone's body they look at it as if uh, it's something that anybody can do but then it's like if anybody can do it why is there a course to teach people how to do it properly not everybody can do it like if you wanted to become a beauty therapist obviously you can go the college route the college route would be two years i obviously wanted to fast track it and qualify it just like that so i qualified in like thingy in three months 
um the training room has so many different like courses that you can do and qualify in three months they have like a personal trainer one they have like so many different courses um i was tempted with the personal training one and then i realized how much patience you need for that i don't have the patience for that at all do theory in the morning then practical in the afternoon theory in the morning practical in the afternoon theory in the morning practical in the afternoon it was mixed uh we had a mixture of people that had zero like completely zero experience to do with anything to do with um beauty and then also like people that had a bit of experience within it obviously you have to be 18 make sure that you attend every single class because if you don't you will not get your qualification because literally if you think of it it's three months and you're going into class two times per week so it's a lot so i learned a lot of things like obviously i have done like a bit of anatomy and physiology before and stuff like that but that was more healthcare related it was more to do with like diseases and stuff like that and how the body works this was still to do with how the body works but it was more about what you are doing when you're touching a certain area of someone's body so when you're massaging someone you need to know which lymph nodes you're draining and where you're draining to so i feel like i got to know more about the endocrine system more when i was doing the beauty therapy course than when i was doing nursing to be fair because obviously it touches on different things but i kind of felt just learned way more when i was learning to be a visual therapist than when i was doing my nursing course i'm not gonna lie it sounds ridiculous because also you think that you learn more when you're training to become a nurse as opposed to be a therapist but then that's not to downplay becoming to be a therapist because it is hard i'm not gonna lie but i just feel like i was more i think i was more engaged in learning about it because things like massage and all that stuff is something that i've always been interested in and i enjoy doing it so i feel like i was more into it that was that for my course so yeah i got a merit i could have pushed myself a little bit harder but obviously like i said when i was doing that course i was also trying to get my license on the other side so it literally was like monday tuesday i'm in london right because i was traveling back and forth it wasn't like i was staying in london wake up catch my train get to london finish come back home do the same thing the next day come back home the next day I, I had like a three hour lesson with my instructor i had three hour lessons for driving twice per week my practical exam for beauty was on a tuesday and then on thursday i had my driving exam and oh my lord jesus that friday i was happy that friday i was so happy because Oh, those that those that listen january to march was stress 2018 jesus christ qualified well my certificates blah 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 but there's a lot of people like involved with it as well and that's one thing i have to tell you like the amount of you have, you have quite an amount of homework that you have to do we had um even numbers in the course i think they try and make sure that there's like about an even number in terms of like either six people eight people 12 people so that you have a partner to work with basically when you're doing the practicals because you're only allowed to bring someone to practice on when it comes to your mock exam and your actual exam and stuff like that but i actually enjoyed it because it's like you give you give it your all for those three months and then getting your qualification that you know you can use in any country that's the other thing as well you can like the qualification you get with the training room for any of the courses you do well, i can only speak for beauty therapy but the qualification you get you can use it in any country i could have literally when i finished i could apply to go work for steiner which is like one of the big 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 like top crew like um thingy cruising companies i could have chose to go work for steiner of which uh, the contract you would get you would then go work on the cruise and you wouldn't have to pay for accommodation so pretty much uh, everything is covered in your contract all you're doing is working and getting paid and that's it you ain't gotta pay for bills or nothing like that so i could have done that but obviously i didn't so moving on to me actually working in a spa after i finished it i then uh oh i'm trying so hard to not say the name of the company because i literally just want to throw them under the bus but anyways that's beside the point it's a well recognized the british spa company um it was talked about a lot when we were doing our course as one of the top spas recommended for you to work for um they even had an open day with that said company for spas ah 
uh, that's all the information I can say. I can't say anymore. I really, really, really want to say their name, but I can't. I really can't. Lawsuit, 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 lawsuit. That's what keeps it in myself in my head. I applied to like different spas. Uh, got callbacks from some of them, some of them I didn't. I even applied to a spa that's within a hotel that Meghan Markle stayed at before her wedding. Like me, with zero experience applying for that. Like, I mean, now, now I can apply for it and I'm sure I get the job because I have experience. But I was just like, this was me like being really qualified. And this is like a, a spa where they like freaking massage is at 95 pounds for a 30 minute massage it starts from 95 pounds so <laughs> anyways and they don't do oh let me not jump over there yeah like well but i mean they don't do voucher or group on vouchers at that spot it's uh, i don't know if i can even say the name because i feel like i'm not saying anything bad about them like i literally just seen that like i I boosted my own ego by applying to them and them actually calling me for an interview. It was an ego boost, I'm not gonna lie. It's called. It's amazing. I'm just gonna put a picture nope. on here. It's so amazing. Like, oh, the drive there. Oh my god. I had an interview there. Obviously, I was not successful because of that zero experience. I mean, it wasn't really zero experience. It was more to do with the fact that, like, my techniques were not as refined as they needed them to be. Because obviously, you, I mean, it's a spa where freaking royal people come to stay at so you can you know what type of service they're gonna be needing like come on like seriously so i had my job interview um with the said company and uh it was one of them places of service like a hotel with an with a spa as well um service spa on site whatever anyways nice hotel for the parts i saw uh, <laughs> there's certain things I could say about the hotel, but I'm not gonna say. But the staff, uh, some of them are great, some of them are bitchy. I had a few people obviously that were a bit younger than I was, because um, at that time I was like 23, so I had a few people that were like 18, 19, and it was a bit like. Now coming to me actually getting my uniform and actually my work schedule and starting work and everything, cause like everything was. Like my interview was quite straightforward. We sat down, had a chat. She asked me about my qualifications, blah, 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 and what normal what experience I have. And then I had to do a uh, treatment, basically. So I gave her a back massage for like 20, was it 15 minutes? And that was pretty much it. And then she literally told me there and there that I got the job. Cool, fine. I got my uniforms and then I was told that I had to come in for induction. I had my induction day. They tried to run through some of the products um, to like train me to know what the ingredients are in there how the day-to-day -day system is run we went through how they like their beds laid out how to like lay down the towels how to fold the towels how they want the room to look when each client comes in so basically you have to like make sure that every single time a client comes in it looks like nothing happened in there when i say nothing i mean if you've done a sugar scrub the floor better not have sugar scrub on it if you've done a facial or any foot treatments the floor better not have water on the floor the towels better not be damp you better be putting fresh towels on there that's what they said so starting on to when i actually now had my own schedule and my own list every single day first day uh it was okay it was, it was my induction day second day was fine third day when i actually had my list i wasn't given a proper tour of each and every single spa treatment room so the room that i got because literally it was uh, starting from nine that's when the treatment started so usually you'd get there for 8 30 to have your room set up get the towels uh if you need to refill any of the um thingy the products bottles and stuff like that refill them make sure that you have your mitts for facials and stuff like that in the um warming towel cabbie and all that stuff make sure that your trolley is like nice and clean and arranged the way they want it to be you weren't arranging it the way you wanted to be because I would arrange my trolley different but they had a certain way they wanted the products to look on the thing on the trolley and obviously making sure that you set the um, lighting the way you want it to be 
and yeah just make sure like you have the room looking all nice and presentable and stuff like that and that you also look nice and presentable and that you're smelling nice that's the other thing as well like working in a spa made me so self-conscious about like my how i smell which is why i'm always screaming about like people don't know how to wash because literally people don't know how to wash if you think of it when you're doing a massage or facial you're in someone's personal space so they can smell anything that's on your body so if you imagine you're doing like massage is like five back to back back to back you're gonna sweat so also certain things that you have to keep was like wet wipes your deodorant your perfume they even had the mist for the room that you can use that was quite light uh it was like a neutralizing mist just in case if you had someone in there that like smelled a little bit funky uh or someone that might have farted during the massage which has happened a few times before but anyway yeah and then obviously just uh I would basically in between like I what I would do was pretty much like every two hours depending on what treatments I was doing if I was doing a full body massage every two hours if maybe I had full body massages on my schedule like three of them which usually would take like 45 minutes or if I had this signature treatment which would basically be a full body massage plus a facial which would take 90 minutes I basically would every two hours reapply like wipe off my armpits in my hoo-ha and then reapply my deodorant and my perfume like i i just had to make sure that like i smelled okay because of the fact that i'm in someone's personal space okay i didn't want it to be a thing of that like someone's going to the reception and they're basically complaining saying that i smell disgusting so that was that and then the so i didn't get a proper tour of the room of all each and every single room we had one room that you could have couples massage in which you could fit two beds in there and majority of them were just single rooms obviously typical spa rooms you have the bed you have the trolley with the products in you have the cupboards with the spare products and stuff like that you have the shower typical so uh, the room i was in the bed was uh, broken uh it needed to be plugged in a particular way for it to be able to be raised and lowered and if you don't know i am five foot ten and a half so i had to work a eight hour shift on a bed that was not adjusted to the proper height for me it was way too low so you can imagine how badly my back hurt after that shift like it was horrendous like it it was painful so since that day i learned that okay because i think that day i think i got to work at like quarter two nine since that day i was like i am getting here 8 15. i was not getting to work at half eight i was like 8 15 i'm in i'm the first one in to make sure that i take one of the rooms because there was no specific assigned room no one had a specific room people had favorite rooms of which i ended up having a favorite room as well but people had favorite rooms that they liked but this one in particular i never after that day i never worked in that room ever again i refused so i would literally get to work 8 15 i'm there and i'll put my bag i'll lay out my bed so once you get there you like also start layering out yeah i'm laying the towels and all start preparing laying out the towels preparing the room and whatnot and all that stuff so once you've already done that the therapist will know that obviously someone has taken this room already because your bag would be in one of the cupboards in there which is the cupboards that we usually were being told that you can keep your stuff in so the therapist also would know that that's basically what happened i had one incident where obviously i got there and i put my bag in the room and i had one of the girls literally take my bag out and put it in a different room and it didn't go too well obviously so i told her off for it but never mind anyway so um <laughs> now i'm gonna get to the parts of why i never want to work in someone's spa why i never want to work in some in any any spa ever again the work schedule number one so if you go to a spa where they have voucher deals or groupon deals what i'm gonna tell you is you're guaranteed to not get the full time for your treatment the best time to go for to a spa ideally is uh, between a tuesday and a thursday why i say that is that there's barely usually anyone there friday into monday are the worst times to go uh during half term worst time to go 
during bank holidays that's why i included monday because bank holiday falls on a monday that's why i say friday into monday worst times to go uh summer holidays the worst time to go any school holidays or half term just don't go basically don't go to a spa at all there's no point if you want to go to a spa and actually get the treatment if you're going for a massage go between a tuesday and a thursday that's the best times to go one the spa won't be that busy two you actually get um the your therapist that you get will actually be able to do the treatment that you pay for if that makes sense so the way my schedule was based we had back-to-back -back treatments from nine sometimes it's like eight from nine until six you had a 30 minute break so the 30 minute break doesn't mean you're going to get 30 minutes why i'm saying it doesn't mean you're going to get 30 minutes is because if you do a treatment and you're running behind you're eating into your break time if you do a treatment and the client you have especially some of you that like to actually be laying on the bed this is actually a psa to everyone like if you get your treatment and you want to lay on the bed an extra five minutes so one if that therapist has another client coming straight after you you're putting them behind schedule which means you're eating into the break time as much as it's a 30 minute break you never always had a 30 minute break sometimes you even had 10 minutes why because the clients would have eaten into your time based on them either falling asleep and not waking up but them choosing to lay on the bed a lot longer than they want or them showing up later for the appointment and being upset when you have to cut down their appointment because uh, let's say someone's coming in for a back massage right 30 minutes usually standard back massage 30 minutes they come in and it's already 10 minutes into their allocated time and they're still demanding that they want 30 minutes i'm sorry you're not getting 30 minutes i'm not going to give you 30 minutes besides the lateness of clients and stuff like that the way it usually ran was maybe you have a 30 minute uh, treatment a 45 minute treatment a 90 minute treatment break 30 minute 45 30 minute 90. i'm just giving a some what of a idea of how the schedules used to run if uh, you have treatments lined up like that so basically you have a full list there was no time for you to actually do the treatments based on the time that they are said to be what i mean by this is that a 30 minute treatment we would usually cut it down to 20. they don't tell you this um the card you get the client card you get it tells you that back massage 30 minutes they don't tell you this and it's not even like the manager was the one saying cut it down you could just see it for yourself that one okay maybe you've done like three 30 minute treatments right fine easy those ones you usually can do the 30 30 30 30 but if you have 30 45 90 right the 90 minute treatment you usually have to do uh full body sometimes some of them just prefer back and back of the legs and that's it and then you do their facial 30 minute treatments are usually facials or pedicures uh waxing tinting brow stuff uh sugar scrub like body scrubs anyways so based on that alone if you have a mixture of treatments which tended to happen a 30 minute massage you'd cut it down to 20 why because between that client and the next one like i said earlier on you needed to make the room look like nothing happened so you literally could have just had someone come in for a body scrub right in a facial you've done the body scrub you do the body scrub first and then you leave the room you go uh you let them go rinse off while they're in the shower obviously you come back in move the towels or to make sure that they're not laying back on the scrub again relay the bed leave the room have them come out then they tell you that they're ready you go back in after you go back in then you start the facial you finish the facial then you leave the room then they come out and then you have to go back in and take everything out so that's one treatment that one treatment do we use at least about six different towels or eight uh depending on how they 
because Baba wants you to lay down the bed. Usually mine was six, no, eight actually. So you had the eight towels that removed before and then the ones you reapplied, you have to remove those. And then you have the face mitts that you would have used. So you probably would use three pairs of them. I usually do that, you finish. So you have all those things to remove from the room to make sure that the room is not dirty and it looks clean and it looks like nothing happened. And you also have to make sure that the floor doesn't have the sugar scrub on it. So now try and tell me how is it going to be possible that we're going from doing that treatment and you have another treatment starting and tell me how you think you're going to be getting a treatment by the time that you were told you're going to actually get it. Like a 30 minute massage, you're not getting 30 minutes, you're going to get 20. You're not going to get a 30 minute massage ever. It's not going to happen, especially if you're dealing with voucher lead or group of lead spas because one they rely on that so most of the um treatments are discounted ridiculously uh if you are to actually go to the spa direct and get the treatment the treatment usually costed three times the price that people actually got it on voucher that's how much that spa would have charged you for it and same thing goes for group on deals and stuff like that so that is basically how the schedule would go and so you can imagine if you're doing those treatments and whatnot and then you have a client that decides to lay in the bed a lot longer it's eating into your break time so you end up just literally eating your food in between clients because that's what i end up doing like i even had days where i literally didn't take a break so i literally would just be eating my food in between clients so uh, most of the things I used to keep were like cereal bars, or sweets, or things that didn't smell and I used to keep mints on me all the time So I never chewed gum. <laughs> That's a no-no. Most of the sweets I used to have were Tic Tacs because Tic Tacs or Mentos, the chewy ones They're easier to like chew and whatever in between you just make sure that your breath doesn't smell because obviously the longer you go without eating your breath ends up smelling because of the fact that you haven't eaten um, ketosis breath like you know when people are like they're doing keto dieting yeah they're trying to get their body to ketosis or which ketosis breath anyways it's not like you do um yeah so i used to keep things like that in my pocket or like somewhere reachable so like when i leave the room if they have to like while they're getting themselves comfortable on the bed and stuff like that i'll pretty much just like grab my cereal bar and then i'll go like munch it i used to like hide it under one of my thingy the mitt so i wouldn't be making noise so i would just, just lift the mitt and then take my bar and go outside while i'm standing in the corridor waiting for them to like get comfortable and stuff like that and munching on my bar when i come back i would basically then obviously like usually you give them like about three to five minutes for them to get comfortable on the bed depending on what they're wearing because obviously like when you get them in the room you do the consultation quickly and stuff like that you kind of gather what are they wearing and what treatment they're receiving so usually most people, if they're coming for back massage, they tended, women anyway, they tended to mostly just wear bikinis so they can just remove the bra. So that usually would not take that long. Uh, for me, I think what took longer for people was because I never used to adjust my bed. So I would adjust it to my height. So if you were short, I was not lowering my bed for you because that was going to take me time to then readjust my bed. No, 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 boo -boo, you're going to jump on the bed, okay? You're going to jump. I don't care. So I used to... <laughs> it sounds so mean but that's literally what i used to do to my clients like i was not readjusting my bed so that's why most of them i ended up giving them at least about two to three minutes for them to get comfortable in the room before i went back in um some of them i would literally well i remember there was like a few that i saw that they were a bit shorter so there was a chair in the corner that so they, uh, like a an armchair so sometimes i would remove the cushion of that chair and put it on the floor and then have them step on that so that they can kind of get a bit of a step up onto the bed and then i'll move it back instead of me moving the chair because if i move the chair that means i'm gonna have to lift that chair and move it back if we start making a lot of noise for them because once the client like when you leave the room to let them get comfortable on the bed when you come back in it needs to be as peaceful as anything of life it needs to be quiet all you need to be hearing is just the spa music and that's it like even your footsteps they should not be heard okay your footsteps should not be heard at all so some of the therapists they actually used to not even wear their shoes so they'll wear their shoes 
or they'd wear like slip on like mules and stuff like that or sliders and then they would basically during um treatments and stuff like that they would remove them and they'd just be on their bare feet or in socks and that was pretty much it but for me i was just like no thank you i wore trainers I always made sure that my floor was dry so if your floor is wet that was the other thing that would make it make sound but yeah and now i have like bullet points just trying to make sure that i cover every part of this so now the reasons why i quit and why i will never go into a spa ever again i had one not go into spa why i would never go to a chain spa should i say uh i would never go to a chain spa ever in my entire life ever like no reasons why i quit i'm just gonna say this if you're going to a spa only go there for a massage that's it that's all i'm gonna say Oh, well, that's not all I'm going to say. I'm going to expagorate on that point a bit. The reason why I say only go for a massage is because the spa, like I said, the spa I worked at, we did massages and facials. I had one a disgusting experience where I literally had done a 30 minute food treatment. We ran out of the mitts. So the mitts that are used for facials and stuff like that. They are also obviously used for removing products when you do foot treatments, but obviously they are new and clean mitts and wash ones. So I had just done a treatment for a client. Uh, it was a foot treatment, finished, fair enough, fine. And I went to go and see if I can grab some extra towels, new towels to prepare for the new client. I had like some time in between and I was looking for the mitts and I'm like, where are the mitts? Where are the mitts? We've run out. We had told our manager, like bear in mind that only did this spa for three months. We had told our manager that we are running out of mitts. Can we get more? She had this favorite um, body scrub that she used to order all the time. And we're like, we barely have any clients coming here for a sugar scrub. So can we get more mitts as opposed to you ordering that product all the time? She never did. So this day I ran out of mitts and I went to her and I literally was like, uh, what do I do? I run out of mitts and I have someone that's coming in for a facial. And it wasn't even the cheaper facials, it was the 45 minute facial. And she literally just looked at me, she's like, uh, do you have any mitts with you? And I was like, yeah, I have ones, but I just use them to do a foot treatment. And she's like, oh, just rinse them in the sink and put them in the towel cubby that warms them up. And I was like, also I tried to control my face. But in my head, I was literally screaming like, what? Are you, are you kidding? Are you dumb? Like, are you kidding me? Like, what? Like, that's disgusting. So I, obviously, me being me, I just kept my mouth shut. I threw the mids in the dirty pile, whatever. And I basically took, because uh, we had like also the towels and stuff, they were like the bath towels. And I took like extra and then I ran hot water in the sink. So I cleaned the sink, uh, ran hot water in there and then I soaked it. So you know the ends of the towel. So I soaked the ends of two of the towels in the sink, uh, in the hot water. And then when the client came in, I literally just like sat down with them. I'm like, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, we ran out of mitts. Uh, if you would still like to go through with your treatment, I can do it, but it just will be with the mitts. I'm going to have to use the towels to remove products on your face are you okay with that and she was like to me yeah sure that's fine and i was just like it just means that the water um the the, the towels might not be as hot as you would have preferred them to be because sometimes some of them like them to be really hot which like the towel can be like it made it so hot that sometimes you had to take out the mitts and like fan them around a little bit to just cool them down and then put your hands in and then you can remove the product because sometimes the steam burn from that was ridiculous like my god uh, anyway so yeah and then she agreed so i then did her treatment and everything like that finished fair enough fine i still obviously persisted to my manager and i was just like can we get more mids 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 did she ever listen no she also had informed us that we have a cutoff point that you're only allowed to do five massages per day. I had a day where I literally, not gonna lie to you, from nine until six, I was doing massages the whole day. Like, I literally was like 30 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute, 30 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute, 30 minute, 45, 45, 45. And I was just like, what? 
I like her. Uh, so I asked her and I was like, I thought we had um, cut off points in terms of the massage treatments that we're allowed to do per day. And she's like, yeah, you only should be doing like no more than five. Because they do take a toll on your body, I'm not going to lie. Like I have like degenerative bones disease. I have inflammatory joint condition that I still am yet to get the full diagnosis of. I obviously had to learn quickly that massaging using my hands was not the way to go. I had to learn to start doing the technique where I use my forearms to massage. My last straw was when I had her tell me to use a mitt I just used on another person's feet to do somebody else's facial that was my last straw and i was just like you know what you know what like no i literally no joke i didn't even give them notice i gave them like resignation with immediate effect i was like nah like i finished my shift during over the weekend the monday off i sent my resignation letter i wasn't going back to work i was like fuck this shit i'm not doing this i'm like no like what are you done like like I said, if you're going to a spa, don't go there to get a facial, ever. I'm not saying all spas do this, but I'm just saying don't go to a spa to get a facial. If you want a facial, go to a skin clinic. Don't go to a spa. Don't go to a spa. I, I'm begging you, don't go to a spa. This is just one spa I worked in. I don't know what any of the other spas do. Like, oh my God, like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> no, like no uh-uh like that's just not right i feel like that's like a human right violation right there like no gosh and yeah so it was my main reason for quitting was that the manager never listened the place was not well equipped the scheduling rota was inconsiderate to any of the staff's health completely and there were too many issues that just were never resolved and also when it came to training I worked there for three months. I should have never been doing any of the signature treatments at all until I got the training. I should have not been doing the signature treatments. Um, but I was just thrown in the deep end and I kind of had to improvise. Luckily enough, I knew what I was doing. I also had a few instances where clients literally went to complain and be like, my massage said it's supposed to be 30 minutes. She only did my massage for 20 minutes. And I literally just looked at my manager and I was like, try me like try me right now i would tell them the truth try me like try me so my manager should like try, like, try and cover it up and be like oh yeah um we can offer you this 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 and that you can come in another time um we're not usually busy during a tuesday and a thursday uh tuesday wednesday thursday you can come in and we can do like a treatment for you again if you would like so she gave like a redeemable voucher and stuff like that i was just looking at my manager like try me try and tell me that i should have done a 30 minute treatment for her try and tell me with the way you do the schedule as well try, the way you do the client list try and tell me try try it try it just, just, just. oh yeah come come she was oh boy as well oh yeah come oh that was the other thing i was the only black person there mm. anyway not that i have an issue with that i've always been the only black person in most places that i go to anyway but it was just more obvious there um no matter how many times or two that I try and like raise complaints and stuff like that, there wasn't really in particular anyone higher than the manager there. We never saw the regional branch manager. So any complaints I had or anything like that, they were never dealt with at all. Yeah, so that is that. That's pretty much my experience on how I became a beauty therapist and why I'll never work in a spa ever again. So y'all people that like to be I, I'm not gonna call you cheap, but like, uh, like to save a little money and go to spas and stuff like that using wild child group home deals. <sighs> Do it your own risk. Um, no, <laughs> no, it's not for me. Uh, no, thank you. That's pretty much all I had to share for this video. If you did uh, find this entertaining in any way uh, or shocking. Uh, I feel like probably I shocked a few people here. Yeah, um, lawsuit. Um, <laughs> if you found this video interesting in any way, or shape, or form, or entertaining, or if you learned something, or if you feel like somebody needs to hear this, there's obviously things are opening up and stuff like that. And you might be thinking of planning like a girls' weekend spa and stuff like that. Mm -mm -mm. Um, <laughs> 
guys feel free to share it. I... I don't know what else to say. Um, that's pretty much it. Like, I, I, I like this. I haven't done a story time in a while, actually. Yeah. Um, my life is not that interesting, to be fair. My life ain't that interesting for me to be doing story times that much. Um, I, I tend to stay away from story times because to me, story times just scream drama. So that's why this is the second story time you've ever seen me do. No, third story time, sorry. I have other story times I've done. I nearly became a video vixen. I'll link it up there. Uh, someone said that I stole their boyfriend. <laughs> link up there as well. Uh, those are the only other two story times I've ever uploaded. Uh, this is my third one. Um, yeah, I think this is the last and final story time I'll ever do on here ever because anything else i have will not be linked to this channel i have a second channel by the way um i will be uploading on there soon i'll announce that second channel where it will be so keep an keep an eye out for the video for the announcement for that second channel um but yeah so that's pretty much all i had to share for this video and don't forget to share comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye